Adam, we've spoken already about in another video, which I'll put the links down below, about uh, Rooney's impact. How do you see this game going against Sunderland? And first of all, what are your views on Sunderland as a team? Um, they look good. But, you know, I, I think they've invested in a lot of young players, haven't they? But they've took one off us in Joe Bellingham. Um, so I've, I've seen one or two of their games. They've got a young lad up front that I thought he looked quite good as well. And they've, obviously the wingers are very good. Um, so they're a, they're a decent team this season, that's for sure. Um, it's just whether they run out of steam being such a young squad come the end of the season. Um, it'll be a tough, definitely a tough game to go, but... You know, Fruini sets us up as as he did against um, Ipswich, and we we keep up that high press. Then hopefully we can catch him and surprise him. Yeah, I mean, just a word on the Ipswich game. Then so you two nil, two nil up, seventy minutes playing well, and is ran out of steam yourselves. Would you say? Yeah, massively, massively, and uh, subs off the bench just aren't good enough. Like I keep saying, um, so yeah, we let we we let him back into that game that we didn't we we really didn't need to. That game should have been. Run out at 2-0. Okay. Um, back to you then, Jack. Um, what's going to happen at the back then this weekend for Sunderland? What's, how's he going to fix this problem? I believe Mulberry has said in this press conference that Jensen Sealt is going to make his first start at centre-back. I mean, we, we've got uh, Nectar Triantis, the young Aussie lad who's been playing a lot of the under-21s, but I don't think he'll start. Um, I think you could see him come on. But I think what we could see is Second, put back into left back, Huggins in right back, and try Hume as a second makeshift centre half. Wait, he did he did a lot of that last season because of just purely injuries at the back. Um, and he did a decent job, so I think I could see him and Seal next to each other, which is very inexperienced uh, centre half pairing. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get some predictions then. Uh, a vulnerable back line, Sunderland against um. A resurgent Birmingham. How's it going to go? Uh, Jack, you'll be there. Um, give us a score prediction. Do you know what? I'm worried. I, I am. I just feel like I think I had a Birmingham fan. I'm not sure if this is right, Adam, but Rooney's played a different style in every single game he's had, and then it was only the Ipswich one that really worked. Um, so us playing against something that we don't really know what to expect, if we saw Sunderland to go give Rooney his first win, it just would. I, I honestly, I don't quite say this often, but I think we're going to get beat on Saturday. I really do. Uh, we're, we're not very good at home typically anyway. Um, and it just tends to be these games where you don't know what to expect. I mean, we've got injuries galore. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to get beat 2-1. I'll be honest with you. Thanks, Joe. I'd agree with you my predictions earlier. Uh, Adam, uh, which way is it going to go? Um, I think I, I, I'm going 1-1. One, one. I think it'll be one one. I think I think we'll score early on. I think again we'll run out of steam and probably concede late on again. So I think I'll go one one and uh, the media will be all over Rooney again. Yeah. Just out of interest, what do you think of Bellingham, Jack? I think he's top player. Top top player. I'm not gonna I'll be honest with you. I see a lot of your fans saying that he's just maybe it was just anger that he's left to a rival team, but just weren't very highly rated of him. But yeah, for his age, man. He's absolutely so, something to do. I think it was something to do with minutes. We couldn't guarantee him minutes, and his dad yeah. said, "No, that went. I'm not happy with that." And so we got him out the door. But yeah, obviously, I watched Jude come through at 16. So I watched, and then I watched him come on Job, and there was the the difference was massive. I, I was oh, like, yeah. oh, he, he, did, he didn't look like he got it as much. So I could see why we weren't playing him. But I know he's gone up there to you, like, and he's he's doing well in it. So fair play. I think if he's half the player his brother is, then he's done quite well for himself. Yeah, hopefully we've got a sell-on as well. <laughs> Get some money fat for him. <laughs> right, fellas. Um, interesting game ahead. Enjoy it, both of you. Cheers for joining us again. We'll have a new good day. Week. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks' time. Cheers, Jack. Cheers, Adam. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, mate. See you later. Cheers, Mark. Bye-bye.